Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about getting the shoulder rest really comfortable. So, you have to do a lot of experimentation to fit the shoulder rest properly and get it really comfortable for you and, of course, everyone is different. So, something I see a lot is people putting their shoulder rest on straight across the back of the violin, sort of more or less in the middle of the bottom part. And that does set the shoulder rest too far from where it really needs to go. It really places the shoulder rest on the round part of the shoulder, the outside part here. So let's look at where the shoulder rest should go. It should go in the hollow, um, well away from the curved part of the outside of the shoulder here, the part that moves, the socket part, the round part. Don't put the shoulder rest onto that. Put the shoulder rest in the hollow in the inside quite close to uh, your neck. If you place the shoulder rest anywhere here you're going to start getting a lot of pain in your left arm because it compresses the tendons and muscles here. Try to have your shoulder rest resting here, right in the hollow, right in there. Okay, and leave the outside of your shoulder completely free. So you see the difference in the angle. I'm angling the shoulder rest not straight across the violin at all, but towards the chest part here, it's lower. So if I turn the violin round, you'll see the bit that's lower is this bit here, okay? And this is the, the bit that's near the shoulder. So your violin comes forward a little bit in front of you and it's not too far out to the side. The other thing about the shoulder rest is the height of the shoulder side. And if you think about the height of the shoulder side is simply to tilt the violin, to stop it from being too flat. It's much easier to play when it's tilted, right? So that's what the high back part is for. And that's the height that I need, plus the chin rest. So make sure that the violin is touching your neck, tucked right in there, that the back of the chin rest is giving you the height to tilt it and the actual weight of the violin is resting on the chest. So how do you get all those angles correct? Well, you need a, a shoulder rest that you can bend to your own shape like this and keep bending the shape until there are no gaps at all along it. And you can see that it doesn't curve very much to the shoulder. I don't agree with big long shoulder rest curving round. I think it should be slightly in front, just to the hollow that I pointed to. And you see how it's actually curving round to bring the angle of the violin a little bit uh, more further forward. That's better for the arm because the arm and um, the whole thing fits your own body. If you don't bring it in towards your neck, the whole thing is, is too far out and you're um, having to extend too much, right? So tuck it right into your uh, neck and bring the angle round a little bit and then bend it, bend it, bend it and keep trying on and off until there are absolutely no gaps here and this is resting um, equally all the way along like that. And this is where you have to do a lot of experimentation. Bend it, try on the violin if it's not right. Um, and you can feel one part pushing down more than another. It's not quite right. It should be completely equal all the way along. So that's the angle that I have, and that fits me absolutely perfectly, just right there. So there are different heights of chin rest to try, which you've just got to keep on trying. So you can see that this chin rest was made to go over the, the tailpiece, but everything became very comfortable when I moved it over to the side. So that's fine, it fits on the side, it's the right height for me, it's very, very comfortable, this one. Um, so you have to mess around quite a lot. So the last thing to think about for your comfort holding the violin is what your head is doing. Don't clamp down heavily with your head. Um, you just have to tuck the violin in 
turn your head a little bit and place your head down lightly. And because holding the violin is shared between the left hand and the head. You see, if you clamp down with your head, it's extremely difficult to stop yourself from clamping up with your shoulder, right? It's like you can't really eat just with one side of the teeth. You've got to use both, right? So that's the natural thing. So if you don't clamp with your head, if you're not too heavy with your head, everything is balanced, right? And that's what you want to achieve. Um, also, there should be a little bit of movement here, okay? And there should be a little bit of movement in your head. One ideal way for your head to be is just simply straightforward. Um, it's good to have two playing positions, really. One just straight forward and another one facing the violin, like that. So don't find a position where your head and your arm are extremely out to the left. That's going to cause you a lot of pain. You can't keep that up. So the angle is really at the front, like that. That's ideal, right? So that you can move your head and you can move the violin a little bit. It does take quite a while and a lot of experimentation to get truly comfortable um, for yourself, to make sure that you're not playing with your shoulder up, your head clenched, and if you have pain, um, do something about it. If you really search for the right thing for you and you keep going until you find it, and then it will transform your playing. Because playing without pain and making it easy, you can actually progress much, much faster and be a happier violinist. So good luck with your shoulder rests and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.